What's going on guys it's caleb and i'm back with another video so i recently picked up these shoes i actually uh got them for my birthday i think they're pretty slick i like them so i decided that would be a good subject for me to do my ipad pro versus adobe illustrator uh, design video so what i'm going to do is i'm going to sketch out these shoes on my ipad pro using procreate and i'm going to do the same thing on my macbook using adobe illustrator and i'm going to show you guys the process and when we're done, we're gonna compare and contrast. We're gonna see which uh, style we're digging more. Before I get too far into this video, I just wanna address, I know that Procreate and Illustrator are both amazing design programs, and they both have awesome, awesome resources, and they're super useful for different things or similar things. Um, so this is not a one is better than the other. This is just me doing my process uh, using both programs. I will let you know before I start, I'm much more comfortable with Illustrator. I've been using Illustrator for seven plus years and that's kind of where I'm, I'm strong at i just picked up my ipad pro this year and i've really been playing with procreate love the program but i'm not as strong in procreate yet as i am in illustrator so just wanted to let you guys know that before the video starts uh just had to throw that out before i started the video all right let's go all right let's get into it so i've got my ipad here we're starting with uh, the stroke of the outline so I've got the setting on calligraphy, I think. I'm just doing a mono line. Um, I have the jitter really high up just because I kind of have a shaky hand. Um, and I didn't want to do any like pre-sketches before I started. So I took the image of the shoe and I put it in the background, dropped that opacity just so I could get a nice trace uh, before I started adding color and um, shadows and stuff like that. So now that I have the outline, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the colors and I'm going to fill them all in. That's seriously like the coolest part about Procreate. I love that you can take the little uh, color swatch and just drag it into your lines. Um, it kind of reminds me of like the paint bucket tool on old uh, Microsoft Paint. Um, super cool feature. When I saw that for the first time, I was blown away. Really like that about Procreate. So once I got all the colors and the, the lines, I go ahead and I start doing shading. This is one thing I really want to get better at uh, with Procreate, just getting my shades and selecting right. Um, and then as you see right here, I'm adding a little texture. I thought that was really cool. I actually just found that out um, when I was working on this, but I was able to add like that mesh texture. Um, really cool thing about Procreate. I like that a lot. And now I'm doing the stitching. This part was fun. Um, really the overall feel of this was hand drawn. That's, that's the style this one's gonna feel as opposed to the one you'll see next, the Illustrator one, which is a little bit more clean. Um, now I'm adding some accents, just some drips. If you see up top, I got the circles too, just to kind of help the composition of the piece. Boom, I mean, there it is. I uh, got the shading, got the, got the outlines and everything. This really didn't take me long at all. I think it took me like 25 minutes. Obviously, I could have put more time into it, but uh, let's move on to the Illustrator. So again, like we did in Procreate, I'm going to start the piece off just by getting the shape outline. Um, I'm going to go in with the pen tool, and I'm just going to uh, make sure everything's in there so I can come back in and add color and shades. This is a really important part too, because this is like the foundation of your whole piece. So take your time, make sure you're uh, getting your lines nice and neat. They don't have to be perfect. I mean, obviously it's not going to be perfect. It's an illustration of the shoe. Um, it gives it character, but the more precise you can be, the better it's going to look and the easier it's going to be when you go on uh, to add your shades and your colors. So I kind of just got like a rough outline uh, with my pen tool and then I come back in and I kind of uh, round a lot of the edges with the Bezier tool. So if you see like at the bottom, I already added one shadow. I'm going to add a lot more shadows. And then for the stitching, I just made a line with the pen tool and I changed the stroke to a dashed line. Right here, I kind of cheated. I could have taken my time and created each little circle for the texture of the mesh on the inside of the shoe, but I didn't want to do that. So 
I just got some halftone textures on Google and vectorized it and then cut it out to the shape I needed it to be. Already though you can tell the lines are just a lot more clean on Illustrator. Um, I know Procreate has the draw and then you can hold and it'll clean the line up. Uh, but I really just think Illustrator's got it beat when it comes to that. Um, just the fact that it's a vector program and the lines, the whole point of Illustrator is for them to be smooth and I just, I, re I don't know, maybe it's just me, maybe I just feel more comfortable with Illustrator, but I love how much smoother I felt like I could get the, the lines with my pen tool. So we gotta get the laces on there. I didn't trace the laces one for one. I thought it would be easier just to come back in and kind of get the idea of what the laces look like, so that's what I did there. Uh, now that I got the shoe pretty much where I want it, I'm going to add a background. And this is one part where I definitely feel more comfortable with Illustrator. Um, because I take the shoe and I change the color to one color and um, put a layer style on it, I multiply it just so I can have it as a cool repeating background. I'm sure, I'm, I know you can do this in Procreate, but I don't feel comfortable doing it, or I definitely couldn't do it as fast as I did it in Illustrator. So that's one thing I really, I really like about Illustrator. So there it is. Um, I really like how that came out. I, I think it's really dope. I think it'll make a really cool print. Um, probably gonna end up getting a print of it, but what do you guys think? I think it's dope. Alright guys, so here's the pieces uh, side by side. I really like both of them. I like how they both came out. They really didn't take me long either of them. I think they both took me under 30 minutes. Um, like I said, I feel more comfortable with Illustrator, so I think that's why that one came out just a little bit cleaner. But I love the style of the Procreate one. It feels more hand-drawn. Um, it kind of feels more natural. I think they're both great for different reasons, and I'm excited to keep exploring um, and doing side-by-side -side projects with both programs. What do you guys think? Well, there you go, guys. There's me illustrating these Nikes. Hopefully you enjoyed seeing the process. I enjoyed making it and putting it together. If you guys have a preference on which final product you like, go ahead and let me know in the comments. I'm really interested to see what you think and uh, your thoughts on Procreate versus Illustrator. If you guys want to get in touch with me, you can join my Discord. That'll be linked below. If you guys want to talk to me about design, art, whatever it be, just go ahead and join that and we can chat. Well, that's all I got for you guys. Until the next one, peace.